I am back on the vlog channel. So I have been MIA from YouTube forever. I've been busy working. I just made a video on potty training and I just wanted to do also a daily vlog because it's been a while. But anyways, it's just like a day in the life. More so to re-put myself out here, but I'm honestly, I'm bored. I wanna do my hobbies again. I miss photography, I miss the vlogging, I miss editing stuff, I miss like, all that I don't know I feel like this happens around this time of year like all the time for me it's like around fall coming I get this weird feeling of like I want to do hobbies and I don't know whatever so I'm gonna start that again for now we'll see if it lasts don't hold me to it so I hope you guys have been great thanks for checking back in if you clicked on this video because I know like, with inconsistent posters you might not ever want to come back because it's annoying. I find it annoying when people do that and now here I am, one of those people. But we are currently, I'm trying to nap Sedona. She's sitting over there on the edge of her bed. I'll show you. I don't know if you can see it, but she is sitting there on the edge of the bed waiting for me to come get her, I think, because she doesn't want to nap. But she needs to nap because it's... Yeah, it's 12.17. Her normal nap time now is 12 to like 2.30, 3. Sometimes she sleeps till 4. And I really, 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 really need her to nap because if not, she's just like crazy. But I think she's going through a growth spurt because she's talking a lot. She is 2 now, just so you guys know. That's how long it's been since I vlogged because I don't think she was 2 when I last vlogged. And right now we're doing some fun stuff outside. I'll show you. We are putting in a pool. We opted in doing an above ground pool, just like a nice 12 by 18 oval above ground pool. But we opted in an above ground pool so we didn't have to invest in the in ground pool. Still a little bit of an investment, but not anything as crazy. So it was kind of like our agreement because I also wanted to have something sooner than later because I am so tired of not being able to swim in my own house now because we got so used to it from our rental that we used to have. I think that's the problem with like, Going from one thing to another, you get used to one thing and then you feel kind of sad that you don't have it anymore. So, I don't know. It was our happy medium. Plus, the biggest thing for me is with German Shepherds. I just love them being able to swim. Why aren't you sleeping? <laughs> so, here's the disastrous above ground pool mess over here. I'm not going to go out there because he's blasting music and I don't know if he'd want me to show him on camera. So some fun stuff coming up, and yes, she decided not to nap, so I'm going to just let her get away with that. She's sitting on the potty. <laughs> so some fun stuff coming up is I think we're going to be, so we're going, not I think, we're going out of town to visit family back home. So I really wanted to vlog that trip because what we're going to do is we're going to stop off on some places. We're going to be in six different states for this. And we thought it would be fun, actually seven technically, because of one of the states that my parents live next to. So it's a really simple, mountainous, east coast traveling type thing that's going to be going on. And I'm excited for it. And I think it'll be fun to, I just got to set this down. I forgot how heavy this camera was. So I think that's going to be super fun to vlog. And I think that you guys will enjoy that. And I don't know, I always like... The thing for me is like the vlogs are not necessarily my favorite thing in the world. I like to go back and watch them, but I know that some vlogs can just be straight up boring because like who cares about all the basic stuff that we're doing. But the travel vlogs, the travel videos, like that's my favorite stuff to watch and slash look back on for myself and then also to watch of other people. So I kind of wanted to get back into it at least a little bit so that way I can jump into those and it's not like crazy just traveling. We have two trips actually coming up. We have a trip for a wedding and a family member is getting married. I just actually went to Erie, Pennsylvania for a wedding. Super, super pretty. I'm gonna post, post a photo over here because my daughter was the flower girl and then me and my sister were bridesmaids and my cousin was the bride. And it was just really fun and really pretty. But we basically, we did that trip. It reminded me of how much I love traveling and I know with COVID and stuff, things just been like really weird mask up when you're traveling obviously <laughs> but um we did end up enjoying it so we decided to turn the other wedding into a really fun road trip because we're going to take the dogs and i can't wait to do that because they need the trip then we also ended up 
planning a trip for our five year wedding anniversary, which is coming up in October. It's just a four day weekend trip that we're gonna do. So I took off work for that. And so yeah, all this should be fun. I'm excited and I mean, I mean, we're gonna do what we can unless things change or continue to change and then we're gonna obviously go back to not doing any of that. <laughs> so in Pennsylvania, there was this avocado chickpea recipe. It's super simple, well, it, it looks super simple because it's obviously just like avocado toast. I don't know, there might have been some seasoning or something that I'm gonna be completely missing. Stricken cactus and it starts to rain. The smell of steamed asphalt scented Novocaine. Nature's brew of all kinds of things. The mountain sunk hill sky color schemes makes you forget about all types of things. You remind me of the Arizona thunder. Satisfy the times and make you wonder. About the bigger picture in your life The simple times in the Arizona thunder The Arizona thunder tonight Endless roads to the horizon Past the oasis, it's all behind ya Mirage of agua, the stars above ya The creature's days to nocturnal days Makes you forget about all types of things You remind me of the Arizona thunder Satisfy the times and make you wonder About the bigger picture in your life in the Arizona thunder, the Arizona so I just finished my avocado toast and Sedona destroyed the second piece but um I mean she didn't even like eat the avocado she literally just like put it took it apart and ate the toast pretty much and like some of the black uh, not black eyed peas some of the chickpeas but anyways so I just cleaned up a mess of yogurt that she also made. <laughs> she spilt her yogurt cup on accident. So I cleaned that up with the cross wave or whatever it's called. I think, yeah, the Bissell cross wave. And so now I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to hop on the Soul Cycle because that's been my like go-to workout and I haven't really done that in a while. And I think I'm going to make an iced coffee. My dog saw me change into my shorts for my workout and now they think that I'm going outside. I feel so bad. They want to play football really, really bad and I'm going to do my soul cycle. It's just really hard with Tony out there doing all that yard work and like not yard work, but pool work. Ta-da. Holding me back now Something keeps on dragging me down I'm screaming but you can't hear a sound And I'm not being honest Let's get back to that some ah, ah, oh yeah You make me feel something special Like something I've never felt before Now I, I'm not the type to need somebody else But I want you here by my side I need Cause I'm not sure if I can please 
finished my 15 minute workout. Honestly, the goal for me is to always just at least reach the 15 or the 15. My brain is fried after that and I don't look super sweaty, but I mean, I feel gross and sticky. I'm not just like that big of a sweater to be honest. Um, although if I do like a soul cycle class, okay, wait, I didn't even finish my sentence. My biggest goal is to at least reach three miles every time I get on there. Not even like a huge goal, but it just is something that makes me feel good about my workout or my day. And then um, also what I was going to say is if you do a soul cycle class, like actually take a class and not just do the freestyle because I have like the demand on there, they will make you drip sweat. It could be a 20 minute or a 45 minute or a 45 minute class. They make you sweat. I don't know what it is and like even just during that 15 minute I was like getting sticky and like a little sweaty in certain spots like especially my arms which is so random I never used to sweat my arms before in my entire life I've done yoga and I've done pure bar and I just have never felt so worked out as much as I do when I do this class and or do this workout and also on the weights what I do is like the Russian twists up there while I'm sitting on the seat and then I also just like do weights back so that way I can like work out a little bit of like my upper arm and like my back muscles because I just feel like that's good to do and take advantage and then also I can do like my waist with the Russian twist but it's crazy because it's like a full body workout option and it's like not the ugliest thing in your house and it's like all in one thing and I don't know I love it I'm so happy that I got one so Obviously, I have nothing to do with them, but get yourself a soul cycle and sign up for the on-demand class. Now I can finally enjoy my iced coffee. So Dona is asleep, or not asleep, she's in my room. I had to get off the bike to pause this because obviously I wasn't gonna film the whole 15 minutes. And then also I had to get off the cycle to get her and put her in my room. I just laid her down in my bed with her tablet and just to like kind of keep her separate. I just am like, Okay, you can be up, but I just want you to at least be chilling. This never happens, so I'm just like, what the heck is going on with my life right now? That shit isn't napping. Um, this oh, anytime that does happen, I swear I start to panic that like she's done with naps, and I guess one day there will be a time and an age where that happens, and maybe it's just that they need to be pushed back even later. I don't know, but I do strongly and highly depend on her nap schedule for like the Monday through Friday. Elsa? Bye. Sing to Elsa. Sing, let it go. <laughs> Alright guys, it is the evening now and I think that I'm going to be lazy. It's starting to storm. I'm going to watch the movies and we are going to probably do a little bit of nothing. So I'm going to end this vlog. I really just wanted to get back into it. So it's probably mega short. But it is what it is. And welcome if you're new. Thank you for watching. Again, if you're not new, it's awesome that people are still watching. Even though I have like the world's smallest YouTube following ever. And don't forget to hit subscribe and thumbs up this video. I can't remember all the things you're like... You feel obligated to say on YouTube, but anyways, do all that fun stuff and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye guys.